Hey guys, welcome to another video from Right On Precision Hunting and Reviews. Today we are taking a look at the Mill Dot Master ranging system. So uh, long story short, this is a range finder. You might call it a analog range finder. Um, we all know how important knowing the, uh, the distance to your target is if you plan on hitting it. Um, laser range finders are fantastic. I have several of them. The only thing is they do uh, have batteries, they have uh, circuit boards and all that sort of thing that are prone to fail or can fail. And if they can fail, they always will when you need them. So it's a fantastic idea to be able to rely back on something, you know, sort of a little bit of um, old school, you might want to call it. Um, this one here, like I say, is from Mill Dot Master is the name of the company. It's made in the United States. Um, just firstly, on the, uh, on the package itself, this is awesome. It's really sort of hard laminated plastic. The uh, the cards that go on the inside of them, which I'll show you here, there's two, um, are in like a really hard plastic design and everything that is there, it's like a laser etching. So this stuff could sit in water. It's not gonna go wrong. It's all riveted together. So it's fairly well indestructible. Um, the other thing I do like about it is there is no uh, real estate has been left untouched on this, you get heaps of information. Uh, now you've got two cards. Uh, there's no right or wrong here, guys. Uh, it's really, it just comes down to what you prefer. This one here uh, is your target sizes, and it is in centimeters here, and the other one is in inches. Um, so it really just depends on whether or not you like working in MOA inches and uh, yards, or centimeters, meters, and mils. I use mills, so I'm going to put this one here to the side just for two seconds. I'll uh, slide. Oh, before I slide it in, actually, I'll just describe, just explain to you the way it works. So, like I said, this is a ranging system. If you know your target size, the way it works is it's taking known target sizes and using it in collaboration or in conjunction with your scope to get so to get ranges. So, on the right hand side here is the mills and it's talking about the mills inside your scope so you're taking up one mill you're taking up 10 mils and everything in between on the right hand side here uh, is your target range that's going on when the center column when your index card is in there it's going to tell you your your target range there and here is a little cheat sheet from uh, your bullet drop in either inches or centimeters once the card's in and what it is in either MOA or mil, so you can have that little correlation there. And there is some information on the reverse side, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, the the system does come with a very very uh, for, you know sort of formal um, owner's manual here, which explains all of this very 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 well. Um, and once you've read that, you'll know the secrets to life. Um, I will try and do my best to explain it to you in this short demonstration video. Um, the other thing that I've done to make it easier for you to understand is I've drawn up a very inaccurate, rough uh, sketch there of a March FML uh, reticle um, and also some target sizes here for the reason of our demonstration. Now this is one meter or 100 centimeters uh, presumed uh, size here or it's a known size but that's you know sort of just for the reason of the video of that's what we've done and the reason that they're getting smaller is that we have been out and we've put this uh, one meter 100 centimeter target at lots of different sizes so they're showing at different sizes because they're further away as we get further down there um, so like I say to for this system to work for you you will need to to roughly know the size of your target so you may be ranging off say like a fence post a tree a deer uh whatever your target is your a pig whatever your whatever you're shooting at um okay so at the moment it's a 100 centimeter target so i put this one in here um because the target's so long obviously i can't just use it all on the bottom section there so i'll use both so i start from five to five so it's 10 10 mil rads i'm using uh there so what I do is 10, uh, 10 mil rads or the target size is 100 centimeters. So I say, okay, my target size is 100 centimeters and it's using 10 mil rad. I relate to the card now. So in the uh, index column that I've slid into the middle here, 
is the target size. So this is the one that we're looking at. It's a 100 centimeter target and it is taking up just here uh, 10 mil rads. So very, very easy. 100 centimeters, 10 mil rads. That target is quite obviously, it's easy maths on that one, uh, 100 meters away. So very, very, very easy. You've also got your um, your mills in your bullet drop in the right hand column, just to explain that one briefly. So uh, 10 centimeters uh, in mils obviously is one mil and three point just uh, we'll just rub you know you have to do the maths on the MLA there as you can see so very very easy and that will also transpire uh, on the right hand column for your correlation in any other one that you do so just sticking with the mills for the moment so let's say we look at this one this second column is very very close so I'll go to the to the third target um, I put it on the two for conversational sake and it comes all the way down to the five so it's used uh, seven mils or if I could I've got seven here I could do that it's as I said as you can see there it's not in uh, in in exact uh, model so we'll just do it like this for the for the purpose of the video so we've gone okay we've measured it we know that that target is now seven mils away uh, we sorry we know that that target is 100 centimeters high and it is taking up seven mils of our scope so we come here, so here's the 100 centimetres again, and here's the 7, just here. So I just slide down to the 100 is on the 7 mil marker, very, very easy. And that target is uh, 145, 46, 44 metres away, very, very easy. That's on a bigger target. Going down to some of this smaller stuff, just move it over there. So now we'll just use it on the uh, on the bottom section. So we know that that's obviously one mil. So it's there. It's let's say for conversation. Well, not for conversational sake. For this, it is one point five mils uh, of the scope, and we know it's a one hundred centimeter target again, and it's taking at one point five, which is down here. So we put 1.5 mils with a 100 centimeter target. We are 720, or you might call it 735 meters away. So easy, guys. Like it's almost if you if you were ranging a target that you knew, if you were out hunting a particular species and you knew its range size, this would almost be quicker than a rangefinder. Um, it's that easy, so very, very good. And the ability to, like I said, to rely back on this stuff is is very, very good as well. Knowing things like fence posts, um, a car, uh, little things like that is also going to uh, to find you, uh, no, help you no end in the field as well. Um, going to this one here, um, this is the exact uh, other end of the scale for this one to this one. So that is exactly uh, one mil, uh, one mil at 100 centimeters so you can quite obviously do the maths in your head on that one where that one's heading but we will do it for the video 100 centimeters one mil at the zeros that target is 1,000 centimeters away uh, sorry, 1,000 centimeters that target is 1,000 meters away um, so it's just like I say it's just that easy guys um, as I mentioned before there's no um, there's no real estate has been left on the reverse side of the card. I'll just show you something, but before I do, I'll just take this out so you can read here. So that's your target distance there. Uh, this one here is your degrees. So um, say you were, okay, target on that last one was at 1,000 meters. If you were shooting, you know, 40 degrees, it, well, it's going to be quite different the amount of, you know, sort of scope elevation that you dial for. And to get that, it's really, really good. So you turn it over. Uh, you've got the pivot point here, and I've just run a bit of fishing line through. I've got a sliding sinker to make it nice and accurate. Uh, you could, if you're sitting there at your target, and you might sort of looking out the window there, and we aim up for conversational sake. You were shooting that high, at 50 degrees angle. So you can just just pivots along like that. You're shooting at a 50 degree angle. You turn it back, going back to that last one, 
for the sake of conversation again. You've got a 100 meter, 100 centimeter target at one mil, taking up 1,000, but you were shooting at a 50 degree angle. Well, then it's between 700 and 600. It's right in the middle. It's 650, um, 650 meters. So very, very different. The actual target is a thousand meters away if you laser range find at it, but because of the angle, you're actually going to dial for 650 meters. So that one's unbelievable. So say you were shooting at 30, uh, 25 degrees, you're gonna dial for 900 meters and you're all pretty smart. You can get the rest of that. Um, so again, really, really clever. Um, this one here is a just a, a ruler to give you a description or a demonstration of the uh, difference between centimeters and inches as well. Um, so that's a good idea. This area here is for you to put your own um, dope into. So um, make out a ballistics form. You might have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred meter uh, known uh, bullet drop information. And then as soon as you sit here and you go, okay, so I've ranged a, tar a target. I was looking at a um, quite a large, whatever it was, it was 70 centimeters high. And when I look at the uh, 70 centimeter object in my scope, it is taking up 1.25 mils. So we put the 70 centimeter target at 1.25 mils. That animal is 550, 570 meters away. Um, but I was also shooting on a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to make a bullet, a dope calculation of uh, 400 meters. Then you then turn to the reverse side of your card and you see here that 400 meters on your 308 equated to uh, 4 mils, 4.2 mils, you index 4.2 mils and you hit dead on. Instead of holding over and doing all sorts of crazy things, you put the center of your crosshairs directly on the target and you hit it on the first shot. So that is the mil dot master. I hope you liked that video guys. Um, obviously there's a lot more to it. You've also got um, things with uh, the cross as well, which you can uh, which you can use equally for your uh, lateral. So say you were looking at a vehicle, and everybody knows that uh, Commodores are you know 82 centimeters wide. Um, you could go there, use your 82 centimeters, go for the for the side, correlate that also to the to the top. You know it's only going to better all your, uh, all your, all your ranges. Um, so it's going to help you. Um, Mills and MLA, it's one there for everyone. Hope you like it. That's the Mill Dot Master. Um, the price on it is roughly 50 or 60 American dollars, which with the Australian dollar correlates to about I don't know, 18 million dollars. You could work that one out, but about 50, 60 US uh, for an indestructible item that's going to help you know in. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you.